Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome today to Massive Chalice. This is from Double Fine Productions and it is currently in Steam's early access. So I'm going to jump in and check it out. I've already done a little bit of the game just to get a bit of a feel for it so we're going to just carry on from where I am because I'm not too far into the game so it'll still be a good way for me to show you but I've unlocked a few of the mechanics that I can actually show you. So this entire game, to kind of summarise it, is a, is a bit of a, like a tactical sort of strategy game. Um, you are an immortal ruler. You do not die. As you're, there's this massive chalice, as the game is named after, that you are bound to, and as long as it exists, you exist. Um, the the kind of way you rule this kingdom over years and years and years is you create heroes through bloodlines. So when you get a keep, so like this keep here, if I open up this. So this is one of the keeps that I have conquered. This was a relationship that I created. So I made one of them a regent and then I give the and then I assign them a partner and based on how fertile they are and their traits, they will slowly start to produce offspring. Um which will gain their traits. So at the minute they have one child who is level 1 and then once they reach the age of 15 they become a hero in your army so to say so based on these two's traits the child will gain traits and they can either be beneficial and this hero can become incredibly powerful or they can have bad effects so for example if these two have got a bad stat somewhere, so his evasion's lowered when he's at max health, he's quite often drunk, uh, he doesn't have that much max health because he's quite sickly, which is, looks like that is actually something that he has actually inherited, is the sickly part. Uh, strong willed, the personality is not influenced by parents or other trainers. Oh, okay, so. Their personality, they won't actually get this personality stuff. Ah, interesting. Okay. So, and they have an increased resistance to non-physical damage, so they're quite good with magic. So that's just kind of how you would set up this. So, you train your heroes, you make them regents in an area, and, but when you do make them a regent, that's it, they're not part of your team anymore. They're gone. So, I'll do one last brief explanation before we start things rolling, but all of this kind of weird mist, this is like an a power, uh, a, a, an army of mutants and all kinds of crazy things that are coming to wipe you out and you've got to try and defend your lands. So, the game is based on a timeline and it takes several years for everything to happen. So, I'm currently building uh, a Sage Rites guild, which will accelerate how quick I can do things. And it takes a couple of years for oh, the enemy attacks every few years because it takes them a while to build a force. Obviously, children are only ever born every few years. It takes them a few years to actually grow up. And then also your actual heroes will also age and die. So the whole thing's based on bloodlines and all this kind of stuff. So because we are immortal, we can just fast forward time and watch the years roll by. So we just watched time fly. So now we can say droids forsake combat for the pursuit of knowledge and your hero's intuition will greatly influence the rate of research. So this is another building that I've just got. I was always jealous of those in my class who went on to join their ranks. They ended up designing the rotary trebuchet still used in keeps to this day, as well as the first oak and stone crossbow. First time I went to one, I came in for an armor fitting and by the end both of my arms were on fire. <laughs> What a bunch of brilliant scamps they are. So yeah, that the two voices you just heard there, that's the chalice. The chalice is kind of split into like two personalities. It's very strange. But it's a double fine game. They usually are slightly so strange. So you can see here the active. These are the people that are currently actually in my little troop that I use to defend. So obviously because these have got more experience, more levels, they are actually more useful to put into here. However, for now, I think I may put some of the older guys in there. So we'll put him in. I'm just say it is an honour and commitment to the highest order. A stage right must break ties with family, house, and relic. Only death may a sword stage right from study. Are you sure you wish? Yes. First in he goes. Many, I hope. The thrills of battle are a hard thing to leave, but I always found the thrills of inquiry and invention to be worthy substitutes. 
Just don't get carried away with appointments. Sagerites can never return to battle. And last I checked, we still need heroes to win this war. Yeah, which is why I'm only going to put one in there. So now we get to do another bit of research. So we can build a crucible now. That's the only another building that I don't have. So I will say yes, I want to build a crucible. And now we need to pick a place to build it upon. So I think I'll go for here. No, apparently it's not going to let me put it there. Oh, I think it'll put me over here. We'll go with this one then. Sure. So that's going to start to build now. And again, we can watch time fly before our very eyes. Years and years will just roll away. Children will be born. Children will grow up. Ah, and the geezer we just put in the Sage Rock Tower has just died. <laughs> okay, well, he lasted long. Okay, we'll put someone in a little bit younger. Maybe not quite 24. We'll put in someone who's 42. Sure, you're in there now. With that moustache, you're going far. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, let's jump back to the timeline. So we have a death there. Oh, it looks like we've just got another... We've got some more babies. Aha! Uh, when heroes come of age, they are transferred to the capital. Uh, okay, so I've just received my first coming of age. So this is the first child that we ever had. He's automatically level 2 because of his parents. And he has two siblings. So in the traits that he ended up with in the end... Oh, oh, he's actually lost some accuracy because he gets nervous, so he gets decreased accuracy and decreased intuition, so he can't do as much. Okay, increased chance of having daughters. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So even though he's got the extra levels and things of that nature, he has inherited some bad from his parents. So the crucible's now finished. I want to get to in sharpening mm. your heroes. Crucibles are where the training regimens for the nation are set. Anybody can become a standard. The more experience one is, the more that will be passed on to trainees. And if the regimen is good, the trainees can even pick up skills from their standard to make up for their weakness. It's the only job I'd ever be interested in. Not much danger, sure, but you get to fight every day and inspire others. All to the cries of struggle and incapacitating injuries. Sounds relaxing. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, a keep, I guess? Then we, need, we definitely need another keep. So, we'll put that up there. So, hopefully, we should get some combat very soon. More children are being born down here. So, they currently have three trainees there. Aha, right. We have a territory attack. So, during this phase, they usually have multiple attacks. You can only defend one area at a time. And my assumption is that once this is kind of filled up, uh, they will actually conquer the territory off you. So, because I actually have already let them d take this area once to defend one down here, I will try and defend this one and let them have that for now. So, let's try and do that. So, we will now jump into combat. It looks like I am missing a hero, so we are going to need to do that. Shall we take our new youngest member? Oh, we have actually just got someone else. Let me just quickly... Can we look at your stats? Uh, both your accuracies are pretty... Pretty much the same, it seems like. Nervous, oblivious... Hawkeye. Increases sight range, decrease XP gain. Sure, we'll take, we'll take the newest member. And I haven't got any equipment for them now, so that's fine. So that can be our team for now. That should be fine, I think. Now this plus one. Taunt an enemy to attack. Unlock. Right, so some of these have actually got skill points that they can spend, so I'll quickly make sure we get these spent. Follow-up grants a quick hit fire crossbow shot for 50% of the damage if the first shot hits. That's pretty cool. And we've got another one on this little fella here. So most of my guys are ranged, which honestly is pretty handy. And the simple reason for that being, uh, in this game, when you actually get hit, you actually lose experience. You don't have not if you die. If you die, I think I think that's it. The character's dead. 
the cadence, sorry, that's what these little things are called. But yeah, if you actually get hit, you actually lose experience and go down in like a level. So, well, you can go down in level, depends how much experience they have actually acquired. So, we have a 55% chance of hitting them. I am yet to see the ranged actually have a very high chance of hitting something they miss a lot. So, we're going to see if that's the case here. No, he actually hit it straight away. Perfect. So, he gains a bit of experience. So... If you've ever played XCOM, it's very similar to this, so if I move anywhere in the orange, that means I then get a second go, whereas if I move anywhere in like the extra area, then I would sacrifice the rest of that turn. So there we go, I've moved to here, which means I've spotted someone, and I still actually have the option to attack. So we will try. We're probably not going to hit, but let's give it a go. This is our new, our new inexperienced member. Alright, let's move up a little bit closer, and again, we'll just try and keep picking at them from afar. There we go. I think that's actually one of my more experienced members. So this is actually a melee guy we've got here, so I'll actually move that just in front, because he's not actually going to be able to get in range to actually attack. And we'll move another one here, and we'll form a little bit of a line. Oh, 60%, and he still missed, so that's a shame. Now, the, the, the combat phases in this, from what I've seen, actually do go on quite a while. They, um, they, there's usually quite a lot to actually kill, so, right, now, oh, I only got a glancing blow, unfortunately, okay, let's see if we can, see, from that, I mean, come on, you watch, all of these guys are going to miss now, every single one of them, yep, there you go, see, this is the one part that kind of annoys me, it's like, doesn't matter how close we are, I mean, the, it, this does annoy me. I'm hoping this kind of gets changed because I am yet to find a way that you can actually increase that bar their stats. There we go. One guy was able, which I think is our oldest member, so he's got like an experience. I think he gets like an accuracy buff for like being wise, I think. I could, again, be completely wrong. Okay, let's say if we... Ooh, can we zoom out and have a look at the map a bit more? Not much. I mean, as you can see, the maps are a fair size. They can be anywhere in this area. So it doesn't look like it goes too far up that way, though. So I personally think I should be heading that way to find things. There we go. Right, now, those guys will run at you and try and explode. So I kind of don't want to be letting them do that. Do I risk splitting up? Honestly, I don't like that idea. You saw how many times these guys miss. I would much rather that we didn't split up too much. Any of these that I've actually got a chance of shooting at? No. So let's for now, let's just get closer. Some people have got much better range. So occasionally they can actually f throw the shots miles away and pick things off. But in this case, they've either got something blocking them. Or, oh, and he's going to explode. So, that doesn't do too much damage, but as long as we're in this area, this is actually going to damage me. So, I need to get people off of that. So, that actually becomes a little bit of a map hazard. And I don't think it ever actually disappears either, so... Uh, let's just move him to here. We cannot see that guy. So, let's just end the turn. Right, you are going to need to get out of this horrible mess. And you are going to try and shoot him. And you actually did it! Well done. Well done, you. We should be proud. Now, no one else can actually run and shoot because it's perfectly behind a rock unless I want to go and stand in this horrible mess. Which, for this one time, I am actually going to do. Just because I want that guy dead. So that's kind of another area that's sort of cut off now, which is a bit of a shame, but... It is something that I can definitely make use to my advantage. And, again... We will keep doing that until we've got everyone settled round. So now it's their turn. Didn't appear that anything happened, but you never know. So now we're just going to keep slowly pushing forward and try and find everyone's left. You've pretty much, I imagine, got the idea what this is like. If I say, if you've played XCOM, you're going to be very familiar with this game. Very familiar. I think the only thing that you'll it's slightly different, it's just the, the bloodline system, really. Which, it's pretty 
straightforward. I think at the start it's going to be a little bit tricky just because you haven't got too much to deal with. And then eventually once you've got trained heroes that you kind of retire, that's when you're going to really start seeing the benefits of uh, like making people. Oh, can we hit any of them? No, we cannot. So let's just wait. Let's just get some of these range guys into position. And then if they do actually push to attack us, we can... Cause my hope is now is they're going to push to come and try and get this guy and then we can just hopefully throw everything at them and hopefully actually hit them. But Now this is actually going to do damage to him as well. Which is quite good for me because this guy has fairly high health. But it does mean that I am losing... Uh, so we're going to retreat back to here and then turn around and shoot him in the face. But it completely misses because, you know. And he doesn't know, thankfully. So, again, the, uh, I'm pretty sure this is one of the characters that I've had that has been repeatedly successful for me in this game. So, he may be someone who I consider making a regent once he's getting to... A certain age but I don't want to throw him away too early just because the fact of as I say he is the one of the few characters that is actually hitting things uh, I just very carefully pushing up now to try and find where these enemies actually are aha we've spotted one We have spotted one, and thus they have spotted us, of course. So, that's probably now going to try and charge to attack this guy. No. Can I move to here and shoot him? I can try. And he misses, of course. The, uh, the kid is definitely not the best shot in the world, which is a shame. Ah, I cannot get the range. And we've spotted another one. The exploding guys. Okay. Again, cannot get the range on any of these. I think the best thing to do for now is to end the turn, though, and just wait. And let them push towards us. Hopefully. Let's just put you a little bit more forward. Only a little bit. Hopefully that wasn't too much. Oh, there's also a seed come down from that way as well. Okay, so... We need to kill that, but we also need to kill these guys. See, now this is the thing. Straight line, 75% chance. That one, 55% chance. I don't get it. I really don't. I'm not sure. Now, do... Uh, let's just try and hit this in the face and just take it out. There we go. So, the, I can't remember what this class is called, it's like a caber, something or other. But basically they have, if they do hit something properly, they do a lot of damage to it. But there's a lot of chance where they'll just kind of like give it a little bit of a glancing blow and they'll, they won't really do all that much damage to it. Oh, come on, I need at least two of you to hit this thing and bring it down before it actually gets to our party and wrecks us. Come on, now one more person. Come on. There we go. So that'll cut off that area. So my hope is that'll slow that guy down. That is just the hope though. It's probably not going to work. Can we shoot this guy? We can try. Oh my god, he actually hit him. Well done. Well done indeed. Oh, one actually came from the side of us. And is now hiding. Uh, uh, I'm a bit uneasy about this one. Let's shoot it up the arse. What about if I go here? There we go, that's... There we go. I don't think she's in range. I think she's just out of range. This is going to be a hell of a shot if you get this one. Oh my god, what a shot. What an absolute shot. You're slowly getting better, young one. I am proud. I am proud. 
All right, we've got another seed there and another one there. So as you can see, the battles do take quite a long time. They're not like, they're not really long, but they're certainly not short. They uh, they do take. Go on, go on. Oh, beautiful! What a shot! What a shot! Is it their turn now? Yep. And we have another seed here who looks like the body hasn't loaded properly. I'm guessing that's a bug. So, again, can you take another... Oh, that was terrible. I thought better of you. And there we go. Absolutely destroyed. And now uh, we'll try... See if you can get another... Ah... Oh. I was hoping he was going to go for the hat trick then, but he didn't. He let me down there. And... Oh, come on! Right, you are literally the last person who's got a chance to do this. And you missed. Well done. You people. You people. And now the kid's going to get attacked. And now the kid's really low on health. Come on, child. I mean... <laughs> Come on. Come on. Thank you. There's still more? Oh no, there we go. We did. We got a massive victory. Just shutting the door on vegetarians again, huh? You always forget about the vegetarians. Oh, excuse me, yes. Sorted salads as well, please. <laughs> sure. So there we go, and that's a bit of a look at the combat as well. I think that's pretty much the best I can show you for Massive Chalice. I think. I think. I think. So yeah, that gives you a bit of an idea. You've got to try and control the land, protect it as best as you can. So like, this is now a land that I need to try and actually like... Like, try and win back. So they've actually got a little bit of influence there. So next time there's a thing there, I need to try and prioritise this area if there's a choice between two. And obviously I've got to try and keep getting my heroes popping up because eventually some of my older guys are going to die. So it's all about managing bloodlines and controlling the map. As I say, it's completely, it's a little tactical strategy game. It is pretty cool. I am enjoying my time with it quite a lot actually. Although I do find some of the combat a little bit annoying with the percentages to get hit. But I suppose that is to try and force the whole bloodline idea. Because a lot of my guys have got like inaccuracy because they're young or... That they're, they're drunk or whatever. So I suppose that's the reason why it's there, is that the, rather than actually being like a terrain basis, it's also to do with their actual perks. But yeah, I quite like it. It's a pretty cool concept, and so far I'm enjoying it. It is in early access, though, so this isn't a finished product, but do bear that in mind. So if you enjoyed this, or if this was helpful to you in any way, please do leave me a like, drop me a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much, and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye-bye.